All right, welcome back, everyone. This week's Pizza of the Week is being brought to you by Flowers Deer Process in 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. Let me tell you something. If you've got one and, and you're proud of him, uh, table fare can fare well. Flowers can help it make that enjoyable for you. It all has to do with how you process that deer. I promise you, it can make a, a great meal or a disaster. It's your choice. Flowers Deer Process in 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. Tell Mike and Deborah that you saw it here on Southern Woods and Waters. Our first picture. Let me get your blood boiling all of a sudden. Now I'm telling you, this is my good friend, Rick Taylor. Rick says, you look what a stud I wound up with. And this was just day before yesterday. It actually has 19 points, but they're considering it by, according to Tennessee Wildlife, an 11 pointer. And he's already green scored in the uh, 156, 158 class right there, somewhere right there close. So great, great job, Rick Taylor. And by the way, one other special note, this was taken on public hunting land. So for all you people that think there's nothing out there on public hunting land, here's proof that there is. That is a stud by anybody's imagination. Our next picture here, this is Cooper Faust. Cooper is from Knoxville, Tennessee, and he was with us on his first, uh, on, his, uh, on the youth hunt that took place last week. This is his first deer of the season. Now he has killed other deer before, but this is the first deer of the season for him. So congratulations to Cooper Faust. Our next picture, this is Owen Johns. This is Alton Johns' son, Owen, with his first deer of the season. Nice little spike. He happened to be sitting in the stand with his dad when he took that. And I said, Dad, did you get any video of that? He said, you know, I had the camera. I didn't get any video. I'm like, ooh, we'll find a new dad. <laughs> so, but there you go. That's uh, Owen Johns with his first uh, for the season. Next picture here, <clears throat> don't have Don in it, but Don Sorry took this fine Middle Tennessee 10-pointer yesterday. This is a very nice buck that he took. And he was actually on the phone with another friend of mine and he said, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> so he took this one while he was on the phone with Brian Pitton. Our next picture, guys, you think it's hard out there. This little girl is Marina Luna. She is age 14. Look what her first deer ever turned out to be. Now that's a nice deer. That, that's gonna be hard, hard to beat for her. So congratulations, Marina Luna, with her very first deer ever at age 14. Our next picture's here. I got three of them in a row. This is Lester Pastuski uh, and Joe fished uh, Lake Parsippany. Yeah, Parsippany. Lake Parsippany yesterday afternoon from 1230 to 430. Joe caught four bass, one at four and a quarter, one at three, one at 3.7, and a dink which is usually what I catch. I caught, he says, I caught two bass, one at 3.75 and a dink. We also caught 10 white perch, one yellow perch, one crappie, and a sunfish. The majority of the bass were caught on a clown-colored Smithwick Rogue and one on a Rapala Shadow Wrap in Mossback Shiner color. The water temperature was 52 degrees. So just to let you know, up north, they're catching some pretty nice ones too. So great, great job, and we appreciate that. You can send your pictures to us here. Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219, or simply email to me at Hugh at southernwoodsandwaters.com. We'll get them on here. And also remember, you can go to our Facebook page and send them via Facebook. We'll get them on here just like Rick Taylor did and uh, Miss, Little Miss Luna did. So uh, we appreciate those very, very much. With me tonight, I have James Jones with Sniper Hunting Products, located right here in Nashville, Tennessee. And we've talked about your blinds, in, in, but you didn't start out with blinds. You started off with trail cameras. Yes, sir. Now, what did you start off with on the trail cameras? What was your lead one? It was the uh, the sharpshooter. It was a standard six, uh, trail camera, non-cellular, 16 megapixel HD camera. Amazing picture and video. 16 megapixels? 16 megapixels. That? You could count the hairs on his nose. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty good picture. It's pretty amazing. You can actually set it to record video for up to 10 minutes. And I use it during turkey season a lot. I'll actually put it on a ground stake 
um, at my turkey decoys, and when the turkeys come in to, you know, a gobbler comes in to fight the decoy, it automatically you detects the motion. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty amazing. That is something now. I didn't think about that, but you could do that uh, pretty well. Now, this camera, um, infrared. Um, it, it, it's infrared, invisible flash. All my cameras are invisible flash. Um, so you don't have the white flash to scare them or no, spook no them? No white, red, nothing. You, no you can, red? You cannot, absolutely not even tell it ever took a picture at night time. Okay. You're Very good for security. All right, that's 16. That's what you started off with, 16 megapixels. What's your next one model that you moved up to? Well, then we then we went into the cellular market, and that's where we really, really found our mark is because the whole trail camera industry is going to cellular cameras. Mm -hmm. You know, it's convenient, saves you gas, saves you time. You know, everybody, you know, first the cellular cameras were really expensive, and that's one thing we wanted to do, we wanted to sell quality products at affordable prices and with good customer service, and that's mm -hmm. that's what we've been building our business on. Okay, now is that this, uh, let me ask you this, is it this model right here that you got? No, that's or is our, that the top of the line? That's the top of the line. All right. So what, the difference between this one and we need to get that other one out so you, everybody can see that one is uh, now you call the this is the general 4G general any network, network camera camera any network camera so you can hook it up to Verizon AT&T T -Mobile, T Mobile whatever hook it up whatever you want to um, we'll have those available next year for purchase and they're they're absolutely wonderful. Well, I don't like the way it looks. I, I promise you that. And no flash to this at all. Nothing. Nothing. How how many feet? Because I hear a lot of guys go. Well, I need to know how how far out will it take? Them. Eighty feet. Eighty feet. Eighty feet. Well, you beat everybody by about fifteen feet there, because I've heard <laughs> sixty-five. But eighty feet is an extra fifteen feet. Yes, sir. Um. Here's the other thing. A lot of people are complaining about cameras. A blade of grass moves and it takes a picture. Um, is it just purely motion? Purely motion. We have very few, if any, usually you can, if you search enough in that picture, you're going to find whatever caused to take that picture. Yeah, it not, won't be a blade of grass probably. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at is, is uh, well, I'm not going to mention your names because we've we've used some cameras before. A blade of grass would set it off. And it's <laughs> like, really? You don't see anything in there. And and you you get hyped up when you pull the card and it says you got 470 pictures. You think, oh, my, I've got my 4,000. Yeah, 4,000. <laughs> Come to find out I've had three deer. You know, two coons and a, and, a, and a billy goat come through, you know. <laughs> but uh, these, all right, this is your first one. This one, let's talk about it for just a second. All right, th this is your first one you made. That's a neat little. Now, this will send you the picture yes. to your phone. It's a Commander 3G. Retails for two ninety nine. It's one of the least expensive trail cameras on the market. I'm not going to use the word cheap because it's not a cheap camera. No, uh -uh. but uh, it's all of my all of my trail cameras come with two year warranty, and um, they're great products. You can hook that camera there up on T Mobile or AT and T, uh, and have it texting the pictures right to your phone. Um, it texts the lower resolution picture, but it's still very clear. One of very the best clear. in the industry, and uh, you can also have it email you. <sighs> Uh, through the SMTP server, it will email you the full 12 megapixel image right to your email. Okay. Now, with, with this one, um, it, you do have an SD card in there, right? Yes, sir. So you, it does download to the SD and send it to you. Yes, sir. All the all of our cellular cameras do that. So you got a copy of it anyway. Here, here's what I'm getting at because a lot of people think. Uh, well, I'll just take his SD card, and he won't know I came in on his property. <laughs> it's a little too late with this one. It is. Because you already sent the picture. That That's what I like. And another design that we, we did on the back of the camera, you'll see how it's, yeah. how it's contoured. Yeah, it's contoured. With three mounting positions to where you can put that camera 10 feet up in there, angled down, and you don't have to put the stick behind it like we all have done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one there, you can automatically set it up. At the angle you want, squirrel hit it and knock it off. Yeah, yeah. and it'll yeah. it'll I've had it all it'll happen. be on there good and tight. And uh, you know when trespassers are walking through the woods, they're not looking up. You know they're they're walk, walking down. So if you got that camera mounted up in the hair a little bit, you know chances are you're going to have their picture and they're never going to know you did. 
<laughs> you know, you mentioned that, and, and a lot of guys that I'm, I've been talking to, they're getting that idea of, of putting it about 10 feet up in a tree, pointing right at a certain position, maybe a mineral lick or something like mm -hmm. that, or a trail, and that's what they're highlighting. So they're keeping them off from being down low so that people don't even know there's a camera there. Exactly. So, and, and these not giving away any flash, even if they're coming through there at night, uh, or early in the morning hunting on you, you're going to see them. Yes, sir. And you're going to know about it right then. Yeah, it's going to let you know. <laughs> it's going to send a picture to you. So that's what that's what we're trying to do is is get that now. What does one like this retail for? That one's two ninety nine. This is two ninety nine. Yes, okay, I, I was thought it was that one. Okay, two ninety nine for this one. How does it strap to the tree? I mean, I'm. It's got it's straps. Got a, or? Yeah, it's got a nice strap here in the box. Very sturdy. One that you can tighten. And oh all yeah, that. you yeah, can tighten, tighten it down. You're not going to break this this strap. Now you talked about the three positions. How, how do you move the positions on? Just this by one? changing the strap position. Oh, I see. I see now. All right. Duh. Yeah, it's got a. I'm getting there. Very sturdy <laughs> strap, as you can see. Yeah, no, yeah, I like those now. Those are nice straps. All right. Yeah, you're not going to break it. And that'll go around a big tree. <laughs> Yeah, I like that's that. I like that yeah, because you just, most of them don't see that. Three different positions. Wherever you put the strap, you can put it up high and angle it up in the angle air. Up. Or you can put it in the middle and have it straight out or put it in the bottom and it's automatically going to angle it down for you. I told you I'd figure it out. That's awesome, though. All right. How many pictures will this one? I mean, SD card, what do you recommend? Cause that, it'll it'll hold up to a 32 gig. Okay. Um, a lot of... A lot of my customers actually put the smallest SD card in there possible because as it needs to take new pictures, it automatically deletes the old ones. So if somebody did come by and take your SD card, they're not going to know what you've had on the camera because it's going to be constantly deleting the pictures off. Hold on, because I want to hit that again, okay? When we come back from break, I want to hit that again because I want you to tell that again because that's very good. I, next, we got to do our product of the week. so. Uh, this week's product of the week is being brought to you by Highland Realm Tractor, your Mahindra tractor dealer, located right there in Millersville, Tennessee. Go by and check them out for your Mahindra tractor needs. I have with me today, this is a brand new product. And we've got uh, uh, my, uh, my Blend Deer Minerals. I got it upside down. My Blend Deer Minerals uh, helped me produce this, but we have a brand new clover seed and right now um well matter of fact all this weekend randall staggs is planting all of this seed so it is not too late he's hoping he's going to get a rain we all need rain on our on our uh green fields and stuff but this is the time to plant this clover this clover right now will keep producing all through your hardcore winter months now the great thing about this clover is we have seen pictures. This was invented in, and made in Australia and sent over here just recently for us to try out. But they have a woman that is five foot nine inches tall standing in it and she's almost covered. So about four and a half feet is how tall this clover gets. And uh, I can attest because we planted some not too long ago, it is well to the knee on some of this stuff. So try it out. This is, and it's called Balanza Clover. Balanza Clover is what it's called. You can contact Southern Woods and Waters through our email, and we'll get you hooked up with this stuff pretty good. This is a half acre, right, half acre, and it is, uh, yeah, half acre, 20 bucks. That's what it retails for, so it's a great, great product. Bring in some nice monster deer. Hopefully, help you out this next season. Hey, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're going to have, open up our phone lines here at 737-7767. We'll be able to answer any questions you might have. But we're going to get a little bit more in-depth on some of these trail cams and give you some tips on where to place them. That's important also. Heard back to more. So the Wizard Waters.